Look who made me brunch. So Virgil made hash browns there on the bottom. He has bacon around that and then two runny eggs on top. Mom. 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 He's bad manners. Mom. Dad. Dad. Have a good day. Uh, appreciate it. What do you think of my purchases, Virgil? She got a lot. <laughs> but that's okay. He's the one that told me to come in here. I had pretty much settled on what I would gotten from Walmart, but he was like, don't you want to check out Lowe's? They might have some stuff. And they did. It's fall, y'all. It, it vomited in the back of our truck. <laughs> fall threw up back there. <laughs> oh, that makes me happy back there. So, um... I'm gonna call it good with everything that I have bought today. I'm trying to basically create. <laughs> you, know, a... she, you know, she said I'm gonna call it good with everything I bought today, leaving leaving it open to if you find something in two or three days. <laughs> no, no, um, yeah, I've got a plenty. So I'm really trying to celebrate each season, especially because living here in Alaska, the season, well, summer and fall are so short and sometimes it, it might seem like it's summer and then it's winter. It was already 30 degrees this morning, but I want to try to separate time out as much as I possibly can to help break up what's gonna be the long winter that we have coming. And also coming from South Georgia, um, where it's still warm at Christmas time, you know, there wasn't really a, a good like cold crisp long season. So it is September the 3rd and from what I've heard the snow will begin around the week before Halloween. So I'm thinking from September, October and then around Thanksgiving to November. I really want to try to ball it up. I want, I want to really embrace that moment in time. Even if it st snows and starts getting dark in October still, I want to feel fall and autumn and really celebrate that as much as possible and hopefully that will help kind of ease the harsh winter that's coming that's my that's my logic behind it definitely pleased how um, everything turned out. It's cute and simple and inviting and welcoming, which is exactly the look that I was going for. So we are on the way to the Morris Thompson Cultural Center. We have never been here before, but just from the little bit that I saw online about it, it's basically what it sounds like, a cult cultural um, museum type center. But the reason why we're going today is I saw online that they have this, I think it's a, um, a fixed display of moose antlers in an arch, but the local peony club decorated that arch with some peonies and so I don't know if it's still going to be up. It did say online that they were going to leave it up for a couple of days but that was the other day that I saw that post. Um, I've still been dealing with my sinus issues and whatnot but I am feeling better today so we're going to get out and see if we can find that and hopefully it'll be a good place to take some pictures. We've got the babies with us <laughs> back there. Virgil's off of work, so we're just gonna enjoy a little afternoon outing. It's a beautiful day today. Turn Gorgeous. Left Third Street. There's the directions. It's 62 degrees and sunshiny, which when it's that temperature and sunshiny in Fairbanks, gorgeous. It makes for perfect weather. So that's what we've got going on.
like a peony princess. <laughs> so they had some of these, um, they had some crowns that you can borrow for your pictures. They have three crowns laying around and so I found one and popped it on and I feel like a princess. I really do. <laughs> this is so girly and fun. But um, it's beautiful here. This is our first time coming to the Morris Thompson Cultural Center and just the grounds themselves are pretty. There's some ducks over there. Beautiful landscape, beautiful flowers. So we're gonna walk around and explore and see what all is here. I don't wanna give up my crown. <laughs> I want to take my crown home with me. It's so pretty. the truck because we have the dogs with us but we decided that we definitely want to come back here and save this place for like a whole day where we can really look at all the exhibits that they have because it was really neat inside so we just stepped inside real quick just to see at a glance what it was like in there and just from the glance we definitely want to come back and explore some more so you're doing okay were you guys patient? No. <laughs> you weren't patient, Sash. It's a very cool day. We parked in the shade, had the windows cracked, so they're doing all right. I think we're gonna call it a night here. We need to eat dinner and just relax a little bit, but it's been a great day. Got out and had some fun, and we will see you next time. <laughs>